Hi friends, Miss Dana here, and I am very excited to share a really fun, spooky song that's just perfect for our October and November fall weather. Uh, we're gonna be taking a look at a song called Danse Macabre by this awesome composer, Camille Cesson. Uh, he's a French composer who lived from 1835 to 1921. And uh, Danse Macabre is actually based on as you can see here, um, a poem um, called Danse Macabre by Henri Casalis. And it celebrates um, on every Halloween night, there is a host in the graveyard who invites all of the skeletons and ghosts and witches to have fun on his Halloween night party. So I'm gonna go ahead and read the poem to you. It goes, zig -a zig -a zig it's the rhythm of the host. His heels tap the tombstones as he tunes his violin. The host plays at midnight, playing a dance tune, zig -a zig -a zig on his violin. The winter wind whistles and the night is dark. The winter wind whistles and the lime trees moan. Weird white skeletons streak across the shadows, running and leaping wrapped in their shrouds. Zig -a zig -a zig the dance grows even wilder. You can hear the eerie clatter of the dancer's bones. But wait! Suddenly, they all stop dancing. They scatter, they vanish, for the rooster has crowed. So as you can see every night, this party is awesome. So many skeletons, ghosts, and witches, but as soon as they hear that rooster crow, they know morning is coming and it's time for the party to end. So we're gonna start by learning all the different themes for those skeletons, ghosts, witches, and we're gonna use our fingers um, as we go through it. So. Our song starts with our clock actually striking midnight, which is played um, by the harp in this piece. So I'm going to go ahead and have you either count with your fingers this way, or if you want to hold up one, two, three, whatever way is easier for you. I'm just going to go ahead and keep that steady beat as we count the 12 chimes of midnight. Here we go. And the next part of our song is actually the party host, and he is tiptoeing into the graveyard to start our party. So you're gonna put your hand out and show the tiptoe this way. All right, he's here. And every time the uh, host wants to invite people to the party. What he does is he actually puts up his violin and he plays a tune on the violin and that invites all the guests to dance. So we're gonna play our imaginary violins together. Great job. All right, the first party guests to arrive will be our skeletons. And you may recognize some skeleton music um, if you've ever uh, studied Camille Saison before in Carnival of the Animals. If you listen to the fossils portion, uh, Camille Saison uses the xylophone so that we can imagine those dinosaurs playing on their friends' backs. And that rhythm is Listen to the bones, listen to the bones, listen to the bones, listen to the brontosaurus bones, listen to the bones, listen to the bones, listen to the brontosaurus bones. This one is very, very similar. I'm going to have you take a listen to it first. It sounds like this. And what we're going to do every time we hear that, we're gonna take our fingers and we're gonna kind of sing in our head. Listen to the bones, 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 listen to the bones. And so you can kind of sing that in your head and you're gonna rattle those bones back and forth. That's our skeleton theme. But next, our ghosts are going to arrive to the party and their song is way more fluid back and forth. And so our ghost move 
it's going to go like this. And it goes, we sway and sway and sway and sway and float all around the graveyard stones. We sway and sway and sway and sway and float all around the graveyard stones. So let's listen to it and you can do your movement with it. Here we go. Awesome. So then we get back to our skeletons. We'll go back to our listen to the bones, listen to the bones, listen to the bones. That rhythm. More skeletons join the party. We have more ghosts that come, so we'll do our swaying back and forth. More skeletons again. And then finally, we have this really cool part where we have something called a fugue. And a fugue is when you have that theme. We have our ghost family here, you see. And you're gonna hear that little uh, melody I taught you. We sway and sway and sway and sway, but it's gonna happen four different times. And the first times, it's gonna be the dad ghost. So we're gonna make our movement like really big. Then the second time the mom ghosts come in a little bit smaller, then we're gonna have the brothers and sisters. And finally, the baby ghost will just do one finger. And I'll kind of show you as we listen when each one comes in. So here is our dads. <laughs> Here's our moms, brothers and sisters, and finally babies. And they keep swaying. And you could kind of hear if you want to even go back and listen to that part again. As we get from the dads all the way down to the babies, our instruments start really, really big with those trombones, but then, and they send low, but then we get much higher as we get to the babies. Finally, we have the witches and they get to come in. And what they do is they kind of start by kind of holding their belly and they go, ha, 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 ha. We fly around on our wood broomsticks, ha, 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 ha. Ha ha, we fly around on our wood broomsticks. So let's try that one together. Here we go. Get your broomstick ready. Oops. And they keep flying all around. All right, so we finally have all three of our party guests there. We've got our skeletons with a listen to the bones. We have our ghosts with sway and sway, and we have our witches laughing and then also flying around. So this party is fun, right? But our host is not yet satisfied. He wants the party to get even bigger. So he brings up his violin and he plays his tune to invite more skeletons, more ghosts, and more witches. And the skeletons are so excited to be there and they're having such a great time. You're going to hear them laughing. So we're going to take our hands and we're going to laugh with the skeletons. Let's try it. Awesome. Oh my gosh, this party is so fun. The ghosts continue. They are dancing wildly around the graveyard, having a ton more fun. And then everyone stops and they actually watch as all the witches fly around the party two times. So this is where you're gonna take your broomstick and you're gonna fly it all the way around two times. Let's get ready, here we go. Second time. Excellent job. All right, we continue. The host knows that dawn or morning is coming soon and his uh, fun's gonna end. So he plays once more on that violin to invite every possible skeleton, ghost, and witch to the party. And when that happens, all of a sudden, 
I think Mother Nature might know that the party's ending soon and she brings up the wind and it starts to howl. So we're gonna show that kind of with our fingers like this. Take a listen to our wind. Great. All right, we are at the grand finale of the party. And in this part of the music, we have all three uh, party guests going at the same time. These skeletons are going and their music is the listen to the bones, listen to the bones, listen to the bones. At the same time, the ghosts are going. We sway and sway and sway and sway and float all around the graveyard stones. And at the same time, the witches are going ha 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 ha. Ha, 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 ha. We fly around on our wood broomsticks. And you can see here, I wrote, it's crazy, party time, and it gets really, really wild. So it is the grand finale of our party. They're all going, but then suddenly the rooster crows. Oh, and you'll hear it on the oboe. And let's listen to it. It's time for the party to come to an end. Right. And all of the party guests are going to quickly slip back into their graves to go away, but they'll come back next year. Let's listen to that part. All right. And the party host is going to play one last sad goodbye song to his friends. He had so much fun and he cannot wait to do this again next Halloween. You'll get to hear that on the violin when we go through the whole piece. And just for some fun, at the very, very end, the host runs back to his own grave and he gives us one little final wave before his own coffin closes and we go, good night. So we're gonna tiptoe with our fingers and then we'll close the host coffin that way. Here we go. You got it. All right. So if you are ready, we're going to put the whole thing together. Um, what I usually do with my students, and uh, you can do this um, with your teacher, you can go through the whole thing with just your fingers. You can count to 12. You can do the skeletons. You can uh, do the ghost theme like this. You can do your witches laughing and your broomsticks. Um, and your teacher can find this piece of music and you can do it all with your hands. But once they have seen that you guys know what you're doing, what I like to do in my classroom is I like to hand out instruments and props and we split up into three groups. So this works either at home, like I am right now, or in your classroom. If you're at home, if you're a skeleton, you can get out two wooden spoons or two pencils. Um, if you have your own instrument kits, if you've got little wooden rods, you can use that. But you're gonna play, I'll kind of show you here on my table, every time we have the skeleton music, listen to the bones, 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 listen to the bones. It actually works a lot better, I think, um, if you can find a rug or carpet or even uh, your bed, so it's not quite so loud, so you can hear the music. If you are part of the ghost group, what I like to do with my students is I give them a scarf, and I happen to have a scarf here at home, and I use my scarf for the ghost part. We sway and sway and sway and sway and float all around the graveyard stones. And you can use two hands, you can use one hand. If you don't have a scarf like this, you can use a t-shirt, you can use a washcloth, you can use a dish towel, you can use a sock if you want to, anything that goes back and forth. And then finally, the witches are pretty fun. In my classroom, what I like to do is I give them boom whackers and they actually get to hold it and they get to ride around the classroom. Uh, but since I'm at home right now and some of you might be at home too, what's also kind of fun, and if you want something where you can just sit in your seat, I use flashlights. And so we turn the flashlight on and our, our witches, they kind of start, they're laughing. Ha, 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 ha. Ha, 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 ha. We ride around on our wood broomsticks. Ha, 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 ha.
ha, ha. We ride around on our wood broomsticks. So I've got all three here together. For the parts that are not skeletons, ghosts, or witches, I am gonna use my fingers and you guys can do that too to count to 12. Every time uh, the host plays the violin, I'll go ahead and do that too. But let's go ahead. If you are at home, get all three things out. Uh, something wooden that you can use to drum, a scarf, and perhaps a flashlight. If you are in the classroom with your teacher, have them divide you into three groups. Um, one group of skeletons, one group of ghosts, one group of witches. And then of course, if you have time, you can switch so you have a chance to try them all. So here we go, get your clocks ready.
Get your witches ready. Two times. Second time. So pick one. I'm going to start off with the skeletons, though. Grand finale. I'm going to switch to ghost. And witches. They go crazy. Fantastic job. All right, I hope you had a great time with me today with Dance Macabre. There is one more very special activity that I like to do with this song with glow sticks. So if you have glow sticks at home or if your teacher has glow sticks that they give out to you, then you can tune into the next video and you can see how we perform this with a set of glow sticks. Have a great time and I will see you next time.